So uh, let me show you uh, the new workflow here with the CLI, uh, the GitHub integration and uh, the um, custom API serverless functions. So I have a project here that I've been working on uh, for some weekends, a team find app. And just to show you how it looks like, uh, we can open up the um, Hasura console. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Uh, you can see we have some uh, users, some jobs, some companies, applicants. Um, I'm just uh, messing around here. So um, this is sort of my uh, project here on Enhost. And um, what I want to do now is uh, to develop locally, uh, to do some changes locally to make uh, sure things works. And then I want to, you know, deploy that to production. So what, what I have here is um, this is the repository. This is like a, the React app, um, the front end app for this uh, project. Uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and install Enhost, the CLI. You can do that uh, by uh, npm install gnhost and that will install it. And then you need to do nhost login to login to your uh, or nhost login. Uh, I've already done that. So the next step you want to do is nhost init. So you want to initiate this project here. Uh, <clears throat> you can see these are my uh, nhost projects. I'm going to select the one that I want to you know, connect this repository to. And this will uh, initiate the project to for me to make like like have a local nhost backend that I can work with. So let's see here what happened. So um, it added a few stuff here. So git ignore. Let's see. So it's add, it added the dot uh, nhost uh, and uh, what else? Uh, env development. We added some environment variables here. Ah, so yeah. So I have. You can see I probably added two environment variables here. So they are here, here uh, inside uh, this file as well. And um, yeah, so we, what we want to do is um, uh, things are set up. So we, we just need to do nos dev. And um, what this does is it is it's great it creates a nhost pro, uh, nhost backend for you uh, using docker under the hood uh, and uh, configure everything as uh, as you have it in in production to have like a local nhost project that you can work on so this this usually takes uh, a minute or two to get started here uh, it takes a little bit longer here in the first run to create the database <laughs> All right, so that was actually quite quick and you can see it automatically also opened a Hasura console for us. So this is a localhost Hasura console. Uh, and as you can see, we have the same tables that we have in uh, production. So now we have like a local copy uh, that we can develop uh, with. And you can also see um, uh, here are some of the endpoints that also are available for us. So the Hasura console at, at the localhost 9695 uh, auth storage, the Hasura Backend Plus on 9000, etc. So um, what I want to do now here is I want to do some changes. I want to remove this table, let's say. So I'm going to delete this one, posts, and I want to drop all dependencies. Done. So uh, I'm, I'm going to open up a new um, window here. And you can, s so I just want to show you here, like in the end host, uh, CD and host. Uh, this is one of the new folders that was created for us. So in migrations here, uh, now all migrations will be tracked. So you can see the this is the initi initial migration uh, that we pulled from production. And uh, the, the next thing we did was drop table public posts, right? So we removed that table and that is in this migration now. Uh, this is good because now I can do, uh, so now let's say I'm, I'm done, like uh, I, I just want to remove that one. Uh, so I'm going to you know, remove uh, posts table, yep, git push. So now I'd, I've done some local changes, uh, I push, push those changes to the repository at GitHub. Now I of course want to deploy that one, that those changes. So uh, we can do that automatically, automatically here. So I'm going to connect my repository and I only need for now the app team find repository that I've been working on. Uh, so I'm going to install the connection here and select 
this repository. And this will actually run uh, a deployment here. So you can see it, uh, it added the migrations. Now it will try to apply the metadata and the API. API, we didn't do anything about this right now. It, it just shows green because nothing failed really, but it, it didn't deploy anything. I will come back to that. Uh, so let's see now in the production Hasura. Uh, hopefully, yeah, so you can see posts are removed. The table is removed because we removed it locally. We've pushed the changes. We made Hasura deploy it and they are gone. So now we have like a good workflow that we can uh, develop locally. Let's let's do let's let's um, let's do something else. So we're on localhost. Um, I don't know. Let's add something. Maybe recipes. I don't know. Maybe not relevant for this project, but just just something. Title, text, and uh, th that's good. Maybe add a comment. Uh, this is a comment. So let's add that table. And just for the sake of it, let's make it public to select without any checks because we want to let everyone see our nice recipes. Uh, and we're done. Like uh, the migration for, was created for us. Mm, yep. So you can see create a table and also the metadata changes because we added the permissions. So we can, uh, we can uh, push this uh, add a recipes uh, table with permissions for public git push and we can see here under github integration it will show up here added recipes table with permissions for yeah um, and migrations metadata was applied uh, so let's see now in the production hasura yeah, recipes are here and uh, the permissions are also there. So pretty good workflow to um, develop locally, right? Next, next thing I want to show you is, uh, is a pretty big feature. It's the custom API and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, just um, show you here. So here's some documentation about it. So it's pretty easy. If you've used Vercel, uh, it's basically like like that. So you have an API folder and you specify files and folders and that will resolve to different endpoints, right? And in, in every file, you just export the handler, the request handler that you want to do. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, restart the development server here for this to work. So I'm going to do, uh, uh, maybe I can do like, yeah, let's see here. Um, so let's add this folder, new folder, API. Let's make it a little bit bigger. API folder, new uh, file, index.js. And here I'm just going to copy uh, this one here. And uh, I'm pretty happy with my API at the moment. And uh, let's just test it out first. So we have we, we added this API folder with a single index.js file. And uh, hopefully we will just try to hit this um, this URL to, to get our API to work. And host is starting. I need one of those new M1 ships for my MacBook, I feel like. I can tell you this, my laptop is not uh, fanless. Gonna remove. So we're done with uh, uh, database and Hasura migrations. Just gonna do the API for now. Yeah, in the meantime, I can just uh, tell you that there are some environment variables uh, already available for you. So um, nhost Hasura endpoint will always point to the Hasura endpoint. So for your local development, that will point to the local uh, local Hasura, this uh, local host uh, endpoint. And when you push it to production, uh, this uh, your this env environment variable will point to your production Hasura endpoint. I will I'll try to show you that um, as well. 
So let's see here. Yeah. So um, our API is working. Um, this is what um, we have, right? So we can do something like name uh, Johan, for example, and it works. And we can also, let's just see, um, a new hello123, saving it. And um, yeah, so that works. And let's see, new file. Um, uh, hello.js maybe and then copy this and just res, uh, res send world just to show you a different endpoint so that's going to be um, hello hello world so that's uh, how it works. Very easy. And you can, you know, add folders as well. Uh, so let's say, I don't know, cust customers. And in cu inside customers, you want to do a new file. Uh, uh, house. Why do you want, why would you want to do that? Maybe edit, uh, something like this. Um, same thing. I'm copying this one. Uh, red. Uh, here I can edit my customer let's say so that's going to be inside customer slash edit right here i can edit my customers so uh, quite intuitive mm, and let's keep this one here and yeah maybe just to show you so let's see process env uh, n host uh, hasura endpoint process is not defined maybe I misspell it so you can see our um, under uh, customers and edit I'm just uh, returning the end host Hasura endpoint that's going to point to my local um, local um, Hasura endpoint now I'm going to deploy this API and hopefully this um, um, this uh, environment variable will point to our production so, so that you can always use this one. Uh, so let's uh, deploy this now. I just added the API. Uh, my new API. Git push. And probably not going to have the commit messages coming up here uh, under the settings, but for now they are there. Migrations, metadata was added. We didn't change anything there, so they just show up green. And now it's deploying the API and that takes roughly two minutes. And um, so we're going to wait here a little bit. And also on the first first time you deploy the API, uh, the uh, URL I've noticed take a couple of minutes to um, to resolve. So we're deploying everything to Google uh, Cloud Run and Google handles all the uh, all the hosting and um, uh, domain mapping uh, so it's a little bit out of our control I think we've set it up correctly uh, or it is correctly set up but uh, it takes a little bit uh, time so uh, I'm probably going to fast forward here a little bit until the API is green and uh, until it's accessible <laughs> Okay, so the API is uh, deployed. It took uh, one or two minutes. Um, and the API is gonna be accessible. We're gonna show the domain here. Um, I'm gonna update this dashboard, but uh, it's instead of backend or Hasura, it's uh, API. And um, uh, this I've noticed uh, for Google takes a couple of, m couple of minutes more to resolve. Well, oh, maybe, okay. No, now it worked um, very, very fast. So our API is deployed. So let's see now uh, what do we have here. So we have uh, index. Um, so hello123, yeah, that seems to be good. And if I do something like name, you um, want, uh, that works. Uh, we have hello. So let's try that one. Hello world, yep. And we have customers slash edit. That will show the end host Azure endpoint. Customers slash edit. And that shows the end host Azure endpoint for your production environment. 
So with that, I've shown uh, I've sh shown um, the um, uh, nhost CLI, the GitHub integration, and the new custom API serverless functions. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, in uh, it's probably the easiest one is to go to Docs and click the top right here to join the Discord. Uh, it's a lot of fun there. Uh, it's also probably one of the quickest way to uh, interact and you know send feedback and questions to us. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye.